straightforward, I guess. Should probably. Get out. As you could see, installation is pretty basic, and it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm gonna try this out for a couple of days, see how it works, see if uh, there's it's any better than a normal Wi-Fi, and uh, I guess I'll get back to you. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, and to tell you the honest truth, I am not very impressed with this little VR bridge. This little thing costs close to a thousand Norwegian crowns or, well, a hundred dollars. And that is unfortunately very expensive what it actually does. It only creates like a separate Wi-Fi network that's directly connected to your PC. It does not share internet or any other information except it connects to your headset. Now that would be all well and fine if this had a quality a lot better than your regular Wi-Fi. Now I'm running a Wi-Fi 6 network at my home and my headset is connected via the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connection directly to that router. And when I go down to my living room and play, uh, I have no issues with it. There is really like only the slightest stuttering every like 10 seconds or something like that. And that was the annoying part which I was trying to get away from. This little thing, has unfortunately the exact same problem tripled. But also in my living room, I actually only had half the speed as I did with my Wi-Fi connection. That's because this little thing has a really short range. It's meant to sit in front of your desktop and you're meant to play like a few meters from it. I don't have that luxury. The point is that I have this room which I can't play in, so I need to go to a separate room and send the signal wirelessly. And that's well and good as long as you're using a Wi-Fi network, but this little thing, it won't reach you. So if, if I go back here and just sit in front of my desk for, okay, maybe just the quality is a bit better, but after testing it, compared to my Wi-Fi, compared to using virtual desktop, it's actually worse. It feels a lot more worse than actually just using my regular router. So why should you buy this if you can just run it over your Wi-Fi? Now one little caveat to note when it comes to installing this thing, this device is supposed to run on a 3.2 USB. And this sort of confused me because all of my plugs or most of my plugs are actually USB 3.2 plugs. But as I connect this to the Oculus app, the app shows me that it's running the 3.1 protocol which is strange. If it's supposed to run on 3.2, well, it's not connecting correctly. And I guess the reason for that is because this is a Gen 1, which is pretty much the same speed as a 3.0. So rather than using $100 or 100 euros on this, I'd recommend just getting your own router. It will probably cost you about half the price of that. And you set up the router as an access point to your other router. And you have that router to be like a dedicated router only for your quest that will give you internet access it will give you undisturbed signals directly to your headset and you can play with just as much quality as you can with this little thing the one time i would recommend this though is if you're in a place that doesn't have a dedicated wi-fi or it's uh, restricted like in a school or in an office building then you can use this little guy to create your own private network and there is the main use for it. But if you're at home with your own private network and you have Wi-Fi 6 set up with good speeds and little interruptions, 
there is absolutely no reason why you should buy this product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll talk to you next time.